everybody, it is Paint Pouring Sandy, and in this video, I want to show you a really quick, easy hack um, for your fluid art that will help prevent um, flow trawl snot, <laughs> as we call it, um, from getting into your paint by creating a really simple uh, filtering filter. So. For those of you who are maybe new to this art or haven't heard the term or don't know what I'm talking about, liquid flow trawl, uh, or flow trawl, which we use as our pouring medium, or if you use it as your pouring medium, as it sits, gets these things called flow trawl snot, or just these gummy, thick, almost like float trawl cloths. Um, that if you don't filter your flow trawl will end up in your paint as you're mixing it. Um, and so if you don't know what they look like, this, this is an example of one right here, as is this. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's this really long one that literally comes up and around and comes back down. And there's a bunch of smaller ones all the way around here. Um, but if I weren't using a filter system, which I have built in here, if I weren't using this filter system, those would be ending up, those would be ending up in my paint. So my previous bottle of Floetrol had been damaged, and I have children, it's a long story. Anyway, it was damaged, so I had to pour it in here. And I'm kind of glad that I did, simply because then I can actually show you what these things look like. Um, but now that I'm getting low on my float trawl here, I just purchased a new bottle, um, a new gallon of float trawl here, um, this liquid uh, latex-based um, paint additive. And what I'm going to do um, is use a knee-high uh, pantyhose. I bought these, um, this is a six pack, I bought them at Walmart for I think five dollars or less maybe. Um, and so if you don't know what a knee-high looks like, it's like pantyhose that just go up to your knee. They're super stretchy. Um, these could be really any color, it's not going to matter at all, but what you'll do is you'll take one of these out and you will then Cut, cut the top off, and then you'll just have a tube here, and I've, I've already used this one a few times, but what you'll do, or what I do, is I just cut right here, and then now I'm going to have this, this little tube here kind of cool. And what I'll do here now is cut this. And then I'll cut this other side here. And then now I've got two filters right here. I had um, a few already uh, left over from the last time I'd cut on this one. So I just want to show you how easy this is. So all I'm going to need is one of these pieces and a rubber band. And so all I'm going to do is just take my little piece of pantyhose here that I cut off and I'm just going to stretch this over my lid and I'm going to take a rubber band here get this stretched back down here I want to try to get my rubber band as low as it'll go so that it won't interfere with my lid at all here. Oh. Just put 
this on here. And you can, you know, put this on your rubber band however many times you need to. You know, double, triple it over, whatever the case might be. And then I'm just going to pull down on all of these edges here. Just to make sure that I've got a good, tight filter here. And that my rubber band is down far enough that it's not going to interfere with the threads of my lid here. Awesome. I know I said this would be easy and it typically is, but this one is, I had kind of cut that one a little, a little short there. And then just want to make sure that it's not going to interfere with my lid in any way. And it's not. And then just to give you an example here. And, <laughs> sorry, voila. No float trawl boogers in here. So this is going to create a smooth consistency every time. I will change this filter out um, every so often. So when it starts to look about like this one does here, when it starts to look about like this, um, this is about the time I'm starting to change them. So um, I'll be putting a new one on here. Once I'm done with this, I'll start using... Um, this float this new float trawl and I will be set to go so I hope that this is a economical easy solution for you and your fluid art um, if you know of any hacks um, or have heard of hacks and would like me to try I'd love for you to let me know in the comments so that, that way um, I can try that and let you know if it works and see what happens so we can experiment together uh, if you like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. That way I know you like to see these types of things and I can continue to share more information with you. Uh, if you have not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate that as well. It um, helps me know that, again, you find value in this type of content and helps me continue to bring this to you. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Whether you like or share or comment or subscribe or anything. I just appreciate you watching and I hope that you have found value in this. Thanks again.